Ist das sagt Handy super? Mr. Speaker, sir, the government has put in place a wide range of support measures to help construction firms cope with the cost pressures brought about by COVID-19. This includes the $1.36 billion construction support package to help firms in the construction industry cope with the cost of implementing safe measure measures at work sites, as well as to co-share prolongation costs for public sector projects. Firms have also received support for their manpower costs through the job support scheme and foreign worker levy waivers and rebates. The government has also put in place unprecedented legislative measures through the COVID-19 Temporary Measures Act or COTMA to provide relief for contractors and to enable equitable cost sharing of uh, increased cost by project parties due to the pandemic. These measures have helped the construction industry tight through the COVID-19 pandemic. About 2,200 construction firms ceased operations in 2021, which is comparable to the average number of firms that wound up annually between 2018 and 2020. There were 2,187 firms that wound up in 2018, 2,347 firms that wound up in 2019, and 2,027 firms that wound up in 2020. We do not take decisions to intervene in private contracts lightly. The Kotma reliefs are meant to be temporary and firms will need to partner each other for long-term sustainability and resilience. However, given the significant impact of COVID-19 on the built environment sector, we have extended the relevant Kotma reliefs several times. This has provided firms with additional time and support to negotiate, negotiate amicable outcomes between the parties. And we have seen encouraging signs of the sector's recovery. Based on project progress payments made at the industry level, the current level of construction output is close to pre-COVID levels. This indicates that construction works are progressing at a steady state. As such, barring any unforeseen circumstances, such as a severe industry-wide disruption of construction works caused by COVID-19, the reliefs under COTMA Part 2 and Part 8B will end on 28 February 2022. We strongly encourage all contracting parties to agree on mutually beneficial arrangements to sustain their projects. Part 10A of COTMA has been extended until 31st March 2022. This part pertains to cost sharing of cost increases attributed to foreign work permit holder salaries. While the foreign worker, foreign manpower inflow has been improving in recent months, we will continue to monitor the situation and review whether a further extension is needed. Mr. Sakyandi, Super. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank MOS for his uh, reply. I have uh, two uh, sort of uh, supplementary questions, short ones. Um, if uh, the progress that um, MOS mentioned is actually quite is good news, uh, especially if Kotma is going to be tapered uh, this year. Uh, but I, I have a bit of concern in terms of expectations of uh, disputes probably going up later this year, especially between contractors and their respective employers. So my first uh, question is whether there will be any low-cost ways uh, for these firms to resolve disputes uh, going forward, especially if measures taper. Mm -hmm. Second is whether there are any specific arrangements uh, to transition workers from these built uh, environment firms that go out of business. Thank you. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Speaker, so I thank the member for the two supplementary questions. On the first point, I'd just like to assure the member that uh, we are very focused on this issue, uh, making sure that the construction works in our sector, in the built environment sector, proceeds safely and seamlessly. Uh, there are very important public sector projects, from housing to transportation projects to private residential projects, that we know is important to Singaporeans. And we want to make sure the construction works continue smoothly and safely, and making sure that the entire sector is on a steady queue. And we've been in regular contact with the construction industry, the built environment sector, from developers to consultants, architects, engineers, the contractors, the firstly managers, companies big and small, especially that the government accounts for almost 60% of the total construction output in Singapore. I mean, working very closely, all the government agencies, the government procurement entities like HDB, LTA, have been working very closely with their contractors, which are their subcontractors, making sure that work continues. So I'd just like to assure um, the member that we are very uh, monitoring the situation very closely. In fact, uh, my colleagues from Ministry of Manpower and Ministry of National Development meet these firms on a very regular basis, going through issues on payment, workers, inflow of workers, salaries, etc. On the related second point on around the uh, movement of workers, uh, we have been working together with the uh, Singapore Contractors Association, or SCAL, uh, to look at different mechanisms in which if one firm decides to uh, wind up or decides to shed workers, how can the workers be so be allocated or shared with other firms who may be growing the business? So there are certain mechanisms in place, including a media uh, a manpower exchange, and we are also in close contact with the uh, various, various firms through the association. So these are issues that we're working on very closely, and we'll monitor the situation in the coming months.